In this tutorial, we will see how to cut a geometry using a CDF sphere. I can use several parameters like the noise speed, noise string, the sphere radius, the border size, and of course the color. First of all, this example was created using modular geometry. I don't know if this was the best decision, as it is a bit limiting, as I can disable the back face calling because it causes C fighting problem. This is a distance field and assign a distance field. I just get the distance of the vectors. And there is nothing special in the sign a distance field. The only difference is that I define a negative distance and then I subtract it from the distance field. These distance fields are defined in the UV space, where the distance is 0 to 1. In the center, the distance is 0, and the distance to the edge, let's say, is 0 0.5 because it is larger, since it is the hypotenuse of a triangle. In the CDF, since we did a subtraction, the value 0 start at the edge of the shape and the position of the coordinates is shifted. And everything inside the circle is treated as negative space. On Inigo Quiles website, you can find the code of several CDF shapes. As I mentioned before, they are mainly used for ray marching. For now, we are only interested in the sphere. Here is the geometry of the wall I am using, and now let's see the shader. First is the position of the sphere. Then the parameters of noise, simplex noise, the coordinates in world space, the position relative to 3D space. And finally, the CDF function. This CDF function is in a separate file and is very simple. Then the parameters of the noise. And all this code is to generate the noise, simplex noise in real time. Here I define the border and finally I cut the sphere with this card. Of course we need a script to move the object and display the parameters. This is the script and this is the player and the mesh instance. We select only one. the other parameters, and finally a volume value to determine if the sphere follows the player. So now here is the CDF cut. It works in the ID and also in the game. So I am just going to make the sphere invisible and enable follow player. And this is the final result.